What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for part number three of our live Pokemon Showdown PU session featuring our lovely NFE team. This team is just such... I don't know, it's just such a blast to use. I'm having so much fun with it. I don't know how far on the ladder it would go, to be honest, but it's not like we're at the very bottom, so I feel like we're doing okay so far. Yanma's been like the MVP. It's just killing everything. I'm so surprised at how powerful this thing is. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and search for a battle here. As we are getting st started today, I guess I should probably thank you guys for all of the support, all of the likes and comments and everything that does uh, really help out a lot. You guys have been extra supportive lately, so shout out to you, all of you, every single one of you. Now, uh, this is a very threatening team. He's probably going to lead off with the Meow Stick for some screens. Uh, that Mighty Anna could be a problem because I do not want it getting up Moxie Boost and such. I just noticed that this entire team is shiny except for the Meowstic. And Meowstic has a really cool shiny sprite, or shiny model I should say, since they're 3D, so I don't know why that's the only one that's left out. But, uh, okay. So I'm gonna lead off with uh, Pawneer here as setting up a... Oh, that was th wasn't even a Reflect, that was a Magic Coat. So fake out Magic Coat, that's interesting. This is gonna T-Wave me, and he's just gonna die, so he doesn't get up any screens or anything. Wow, that was... That was interesting. Being paralyzed is not the end of the world, just because I'm already relatively slow to begin with. Uh, what are you going to go into here? You don't really have much to switch into this. He's going to go into the Aurorus. This has to have Earth Power. Um, but I think I just want to click... I mean, I could just click Iron Head. What, what is really stopping me from clicking Iron Head here? Other than the Earth Power. I mean, he can't really do anything to Clefairy either, so I could use this as an opportunity to set up my rocks, which could be useful for that uh, Delibird and the Tropius. He has a Delibird. He has a Delibird. I'm kind of scared. Choice Bandit Hustle Aerial Ace is nothing to scoff at. I'm going to go into Clefairy here, as he does go for the Earth Power that does minimal damage, and I can always soft boil that off if I want to. And I can wear this thing down with some Moon Blast and not have to take any damage on my... Oh, you have Flash Cannon. Why do you have Flash Cannon? Flash Cannon Aurorus, is that specifically for fairies? There's really... I don't know if there's any need for that in PU. Maybe he, I guess there is. There, there has to be some use for it, otherwise he wouldn't be running it. So, that kind of stinks. Then maybe he doesn't have Freeze Dry. So I'm going to go into uh, War Total as he goes for the Nature Power. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have Freeze Dry as he does get the Paralysis on that, which is unfortunate. But I can just go for a Scald here. Oh, he has Freeze Dry too! Okay, so we've seen his entire moveset. Earth Power, Flash Cannon, Nature Power, and Freeze Dry. Lovely. So War Turtle goes down without being able to do anything because we were fully paralyzed as well, so we got no damage off on this thing. So switching out to Clefairy has really backfired. <laughs> really, 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 really backfired. Wow. I just, I don't know, that Flash Cannon really caught me off guard, I guess. There's not really much stopping me from going into Roman here and clicking Eruption. He has zero switch-ins to that. Uh, Tropius and Delibird die, Dust Noir gets to it KO'd, and Mighty Anna dies. So, that could be fun. I'm going to go into uh, Leafia, though, because why not? I'm just going to click Giga Drain. I don't know if Eruption would kill there, so I want to get some prior damage off, and uh, you're not going to be killing me with that. Although, that did do a lot of damage. I'm just going to go for Giga Drain again, get some more damage off. I don't need Leafia for anything. It doesn't do much against the rest of his team. Uh, I, I can't really touch that Tropius, and Delibird kills me, and uh, Mighty Anna does a lot of damage as well. Nothing really that I need to be prepared for on the specially defensive side, except for this Aurorus, so Bayleaf was completely useless. So I am just going to go into Roman now, and now we can safely click Eruption. I really felt like there was no point in risking uh, it not killing and taking all that damage, as he is just going to sack off his Pickle. His Pickle the Delibird, okay then. I don't know if that was a good play. I mean, Delibird, granted, probably wasn't too useful for you, but that Aurorus is going to take a lot of damage coming back in, and you have no way to get rid of the hazards. So that is a thing. I definitely can't kill this in one hit, but I can get a lot of damage off, and I'm just going to go for it. Actually, that almost kills. Wow, that did so much damage. Unfortunately, he has the Pain Split, so I do need to switch here. I can probably sack off Clefairy at this point, and that's exactly what I'm going to do as he is going to go for the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch on Dustwar, that's very interesting. Normally they carry Shadow Sneak. Um, but he's going to go for the Power-Up Punch. Maybe this person just doesn't know what they're doing? 
Is that is that really what's happening? These sets are really, really weird. Power Up Punch, Sucker Punch, Paint Split. What is his other move? He has to have Stab. Shadow Punch? Or do you also have Shadow Sneak? Uh, I kind of want to wear you down a little bit with the Moon Blast. Because then I can kill you with a Fire Blast afterwards. I really hope I don't lose to this team. I really don't. That Flash Cannon Aurora just kind of screwed me over, didn't it? Um... I guess I go for Soft Boiled here, as he is going to go for the sh uh, Power Up Punch again. And if all he has is Power Up Punch and Sucker Punch, and he has something else as his third move, I can just wall him with this Clefairy? I'm just going to click uh, Moon Blast here, as he goes for Power Up Punch again. That's still doing zero damage at plus three. Like, that did 7%. So I don't, I don't know. I'm doing 22 with Moon Blast. If you want to keep doing this, he's going to Pain Split again. Unfortunately for me, Dust Noir has such a low, pitiful HP stat that that Pain Split is uh, going to get him back up to full. But uh, I can at least wear him down. I don't know if I can beat him with Clefairy, but I can wear him down and then go back in with uh, maybe even Yanma and just finish him off. I'm going to Heal Bell here first to get rid of uh, the status condition because I don't like that. I don't like being paralyzed. That will, uh, yeah. Just not being paralyzed will help me potentially beat this thing. As I am going to go for the Moon Blast again. And... Do I want to just let him kill me? I think I do. He just continues to go for Power Up Punch. Does he really have nothing to hit me with? Does he really have nothing to hit me with? I don't get it. I don't get it. Even at plus six, you're not killing Pawneer in one hit with a priority move. Like Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak, that's not going to help you. So I don't care if you're up at plus six right now. I'm going to go for Moon Blast again. Uh, and he goes for the pain split. He actually loses health there, and that was a really bad play because I get more damage off. I've used so many Moon Blasts. Wow. Wait a minute. This thing has pressure. What am I talking about? I haven't used that many. I'm like, there's no way I used it 14 times. As he's going to go for Power Up Punch again, and he was already at plus 6, so he just lets me kill him as we live on 1%. What was that? This guy has to not really know what he's doing. I'm so confused by that. Um... The Aurorus is going to come back in now. I can just sack this thing as he's going to crit me with a Flash Cannon. It definitely mattered because uh, there's no way that it was going to do 0.6% without a crit. So I can go into whatever I want here. I know this thing isn't scarfed. I could go into Roman just because it takes on the rest of his team, I guess. Although Mighty Anna is still an issue because he can just Sucker Punch me. So it's probably not the best play. Uh, Yanma can also easily kill this thing. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go into this because I beat Tropius with um, with Yanma. So I'm not worried. I'll just go for Eruption and kill this. And yeah, he has to go into Mighty Yana here. He is going to get a Moxie boost, but I can just finish him off with Pawneer because he will have nothing to hit me with unless he's running something silly. So I'm just going to go into, I'm going to go straight into it, actually, predicting the Sucker Punch. I don't want to let him get a Moxie Boost. What am I talking about? We don't just give free Moxie Boost to things. That's just not how we do it. I will go for Iron Head here. Oh, and of course he has Fire Fang, because this guy has all the coverage moves. And Iron Head actually doesn't kill him. Now we click Sucker Punch. There's no way he's clicking Sucker Punch. That just doesn't make sense. Um, he has to go for the Fire Punch here, which he does. And he dies. And uh, he's just got the Tropius left, and that is going to be a good game because Yanma and Roman both beat this thing. We're definitely going to look for another battle after this because this was only about nine minutes or so, and I don't think he really knew what he was doing, just judging by some of the sets. So some of them were kind of cool, I guess, but I, I just don't feel like uh, he was too experienced, which is fine because uh, sometimes I play like that, honestly, even though I have way too much experience to be playing that way. Sometimes you just don't play well or you use weird things. It happens. So uh, we're up to 1265 on the ladder, which isn't too bad. It's kind of still towards the lower end, but uh, the PU ladder is pretty small, so that's not too bad. We should be uh, high enough to be running into decent players. I know that much. I'm Magical has a very, very threatening team. Uh, it appears to be Sticky Web with the Moscow Rain. I'm guessing that's going to be the lead. Uh, Kingler is a problem. Actually, he could lead off with the Bastiodon as well. Uh, that could be his Rocks lead. Maybe the Moscow Rain is like Quiver Pass. That is very possible. Could be Quiver Pass with Sticky Web. Um, 
kind of tempted to lead off with either bread or shells. I feel like war turtle uh, could be a good option just because it could wrap its bin away anything. But uh, I am just going to lead off with bread here. As he shows the Pikachu lead. Okay, so this is probably light ball. And uh, I can sucker punch and just kill him in one hit if he stays in to go for the... Uh... Oh, he goes for the fake out. Okay. Fair enough. So are you completely physical? Is that what we're doing here? Completely physical Pikachu, or are you going to be mixed Pikachu? That really didn't do that much. I feel like Sucker Punch is still my best play here, as he is going to hard switch, predicting that, going right into Bastiodon. This can't do much to me other than set up rocks, and I can rapid spin them away, although the Dust Clops is an issue. That could spin block. Hmm. Knocking off this thing's lefties could be very beneficial for me, though, because I just ensure that he doesn't get back up to sturdy. But he can't really do anything to War Turtle, that's the thing. Like, what does he really have that could damage me? He's probably just going to set up rocks and then start roaring. But I'm going to knock off. I feel like that's the better play. Oh, he's actually Rocky Helmet. Okay. So yeah, he is going to set up the rocks as expected. And I can get some more damage off by Iron Heading. I don't know if I want to be hit by a Metal Burst. If that's what he's carrying. I don't really know what these things carry other than Stealth Rock and War. Most of the time I kill them before they do anything else. As he shows off the Stone Edge, Stab Stone Edge does 12%. 12. 12%. Shells. Why are you so bulky? I know it's a Bastidon, but I don't care. Uh, oh, he shows off the Toxic. Uh, I should have I known that. I do have Heal Bell, so it's not the end of the world. And he lets me just rapid spin away his rocks. And, oh, he shows off the rest. Not even bad. Um, I feel like you should have Roar over Stone Edge, but uh, that would make him complete Taunt Bait. So Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Toxic Rest, and no way to, uh, you know, do sleep talking shenanigans. Which means he's bound to stay asleep here, and I can go right into Roman and just click Eruption. He has no switch-ins to that. He has nothing that switches in. Everything either gets uh, O-Code or 2 it KO'd. And he's not going to switch in Kingler. That would be the only thing that would outspeed me after surviving, I would think. I mean, maybe the Mr. Mime can survive, because it's, I think, base 100-something special defense. But I don't know that he wants to take all that damage on it for no reason. If I had to guess, I think he would just leave this in and burn another turn of sleep and possibly wake up and get off a Toxic or some more rocks. As he just leaves it in, it takes 74%. And unfortunately for my opponent, he is going to stay asleep, so we can just click Eruption again. And we get a kill right here as he actually is going to switch in the Kingler. I don't agree with that play at all. I had no reason to not just stay in and click Eruption. And now this thing is severely weakened, which means I do very easily beat it with Yanma. So this thing is no longer a threat to me at all. Uh, I'm going to go right into Shells as he's going to pull a double switch back into the Bastiodon. But I can click Scald. Um, I, I don't know if that'll kill, though. That's the thing, because Bastiodon is so bulky is stupid bulky. I mean, if I go back into Roman and he wakes up and hits me with a Toxic, that would be really unfortunate. I think my best play here is to click Scald, and it actually kills! It actually kills Bastidon. That's actually a little bit surprising. <laughs> Not gonna lie. A little bit surprising. So, uh, yeah, we're in a great position right here because, honestly, the thing that I was most worried about on this team was the Kingler, and we have that severely, severely weakened. We can pick it off with a Sucker Punch. We can pick it off with Yanma. We have options. So he goes into the Pikachu. He's going to click Volt Switch here. Um, actually, he might fake out first to see if I will stay in and he can get Toxic Damage off. But either way, I'm going into uh, Waggle Muffin, and he does go for the Volt Switch, as expected. So he's mixed Pikachu. He's got Volt Switch and Fake Out. Probably like T-Bowl and Grass Knot, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe Knock Off? Who knows? So he goes into the Kingler. And this thing can't kill me in one hit. So he does go for the Crab Hammer. That does a lot of damage, but I do get up my Stealth Rocks, which is very important just because that Masquerade. Um, yeah, I don't want it being sashed and, you know screw me over with some uh, quiver dances or quiver passes to like Pikachu or something. So I'm going to let him take out Clefairy because I don't really need it for anything. It was pretty good for the Mr. Mime, I guess. But uh, I do have some other ways of dealing with that because uh, Pawnier just poops on it with Sucker Punch. Mr. Mime has garbage physical defense. So yeah, I'm not really too worried. 
He did go for Crab Hammer twice in a row there. He could have done that just because he didn't want something else switching in, but it could also mean that he's Choiced. I've seen Choice Scarf and Choice Band. Both are pretty threatening. Um, if I just go into Pawniard here and click Sucker Punch, he can switch out because he will only take 12% coming back in. So I think I want to try to get rid of this. I will just click Protect here. And he's most likely going to stay in, especially if he's Choice Scarfed. Unless he really just predicts me to go for Protect. Um, but I'm just being safe here in case he is Choice Scarf. So I will definitely, definitely outspeed you here. And uh, I can go for a Bug Buzz. Because that'll do decent damage to anything on his team. I could go for the Air Slash. Like predicting maybe him to want to save this and go into Dusclops. Possibly. But if he were to stay in and I would to uh, miss that Air Slash, it'd be just not worth it. So he is going to go into the Pikachu here. And I could protect because he's going to go for Fake Out. But I don't really need... Um, I definitely don't need War Turtle. Like at all. There's nothing on his team that War Turtle is useful for. So he is going to go for the Fake Out. As I could have very easily just gone for Protect there. But... Uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He's probably just gonna Volt Switch. Yeah, I mean at, at the very least I'm racking up some some entry hazard damage Pikachu is so frail, but at the same time. I, I just don't want to uh, risk anything I don't want to risk something not killing Just because uh, I am in a good position. I don't want to choke away the match Because I've been known to do that I just I play very very poorly when I'm ahead because it doesn't happen often I play my best when I fall behind early it just tends to be how it goes so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Roman here, because this thing can't really do much to me. What are you going to do? Bug Buzz? Air Slash, maybe? Quiver Dance? I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to set up a uh, Sticky Web, possibly? I'm just, I'm not afraid. Something dies here. That's what it comes down to. Something dies. And I actually outspeed this thing, and it goes down. So there we go. So Masquerade is out of the way. What is it? Is it base 60? For some reason, I randomly think that it is base um, 80, and I don't know why. I'm going to check that right now. How do I even spell Moscarain? I'm just going to double check what its speed tier is. It is base 60, so I think I outspeed it regardless. Pretty sure. Anyway, Dusclops is here, and that doesn't pose too much of a threat. Uh, Eruption should be a 2 at KO, but he could just pain split. So I'm going to go right into Leafa as he does show off the Nightshade, which is Dusclops' um, most reliable way of dishing out damage because it's, you know, a set amount. It does 31%. I'm just going to Leech Seed you as he is just going to continue to Nightshade me. And I can wear this thing down this way. Uh, I can also throw a Toxic up. That will help me against anything, really. Or I could just Giga Drain. Now, this is really the last problematic Pokemon on his side. That did nothing. Wow, Giga Drain did whopping 10%. He is going to Will-O-Wisp me, which is unfortunate because I cannot heal that. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to click Toxic now because Giga Drain obviously doesn't do much for me. And he's going to Nightshade again. But because I do outspeed this, I can just click Synthesis. And the Leech Seed is nice because it pretty much just... Uh, cancels out the burn damage because I'm getting back 11% and taking 12 due to the burn So I'm really surprised he hasn't switched out and now it doesn't matter because he dies to rocks I guess he doesn't have the pain split, but I'm just gonna synthesis again as he just goes for the nightshade once more The lead seed is actually going to kill him before the toxic does which means that I get a little bit of health back which is nice and He goes into the Pikachu here. I might want to save this just because, uh, Mr. Mime, I can kind of wall that. Or I can just go for... Hmm. I can go for Synthesis again. He is just going to go for the Fake Out. I don't know if you can kill me with anything. Like, I don't think Volt Switch kills. Um, I can probably just Synthesis up here. Because if you Volt Switch, yeah, that's definitely not going to kill. I'll just go for Giga Drain. I'll get some damage off. I should be okay with the Pokemon I have left. Should be fine. I can always sack Roman if I need to, because he's really not going to do too much for us. Although, I don't know if Mr. Mime can Oko us with anything. I guess it would have to be carrying Psy Shock, so I can just fire off a Fire Blast and then something dies again. As he shows off the knockoff. Alright, interesting. 
So you've got Fake Out, Knock Off, Volt Switch. Have we seen another move? Huh. Fake Out, Volt Switch, Knock Off. I think that's all he's shown, unless I missed something. Or I'm forgetting it, which is also possible. And uh, I can pretty easily just go into Yanma here. This thing did take a little bit more damage. Just the extra rocks damage. I don't think we needed that, so I probably should have killed this earlier. But I was playing extra safe. I will go for Protect. He predicts that. Goes into Mr. Mime. That is fine. Uh, I don't think I can kill this with anything. I can go for Bug Buzz, though, and do a lot of damage to it. Yeah, because this is a neutral hit, unfortunately, because of Mr. Mime's Fairy Typing. But uh, it's also possible that this thing is scarfed. I've seen quite a few scarf Mr. Mimes. I used to use that a lot last gen. Pretty fun. I don't think I've used Mr. Mime at all this gen, actually. I don't know if I have. Hmm. Have I? I, can't, I don't even remember. Oh my goodness. He kills me with a side shock because I'm stupid. This thing is soundproof. Wow, that was a really bad play on my part. I forgot these things like to run that. Normally, they're technician. Hmm. Okay, well, that puts me in a little bit of a bad spot. That's... Oh, that does just Oko. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so poor uh, Roman going down and one hit to a side shock there. I wonder if this thing is scarfed in some way. Uh, I want to click Pursuit because I really think he's just going to switch out. But if he doesn't do that, then I'm kind of in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. No, he goes for the Psy Shock. Okay. I mean, you know I'm dark typing, right? I don't understand that play at all. I mean, I guess I can just Sucker Punch. He, yeah, he has to be choiced into that. Maybe he Specs? I don't know. I'll just click Sucker Punch and kill him here. Um, I don't know why he did that. Because that just allows me to win the match, basically. I, I think I had it anyway. Because I can just Sucker Punch regardless. So if he switched out and back in, Sucker Punch plus all the rocks damage was going to finish him off. And Pikachu just dies. If you sneeze on Pikachu or look at it the wrong way, uh, or maybe like blink at it, it just falls over. That's how frail it is. So I'm pretty sure we were fine regardless. That was pretty cool to see though. Soundproof uh, Mr. Mime. So anyway, that's going to be it for this time. That brings us up to, we only got nine points for that. 1274 on the ladder. I guess that's cool. We'll see how far we can get up in the next two videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.